Hey, my name is Jakob Piesik and today I want to welcome you on the another episode related to the Windows 365. Today I want to show you how to configure the connection between the Azure services and your home network or your home lab. So, let's start! I will use my existing resource group, it's named HomeLab, where you see I have created my additional resources. Now I will create a virtual network for that case. Selecting virtual network, select create. I'm selecting the, my resource group, HomeLab. I'm providing a virtual network name. The next step, I'm starting managing my or IP addresses and the subnets, so I need to create additional subnets. I'm clicking add subnet, I'm providing a name for that subnet, and it's the common mistake. First you need to provide a name, not the address range. Clicking add, and the default subnet, it will be left. Next, the security tab, by default tags and review and create. I'm not using the tags on my environment for now. After that, you need to click the create button. When the deployment will be completed, we need to create a virtual network gateway. Clicking create button. Next, we need to select a virtual network and which is not available, so I will be choosing the select region, West Europe, which was created selected earlier. Next, we need to selecting the virtual network and providing a subnet re address range for the gateway. Next, we need to provide a name for that virtual network gateway. Next important thing what you need to configure is SKU for your virtual network gateway. It's important because if you select different than this one which I selected currently, generation 1, it will be paid. In the free, free tier of the Microsoft Azure you have one year of the services and one of the services is the VPN gateway. So select this one which I provided on the screen. After that you need to select a proper virtual network which you created from the previous steps and provide the gateway subnet range. We need to create also a public IP address for our virtual network gateway, providing a name, selecting the public address size queue, leaving the default option by default, and clicking review and create. Because as I said earlier, I don't use the tags on my environment. So click the create button, and when you click the create button, the deployment will be in progress. What is interesting, this deployment will take around 25 minutes to 30 minutes, so we will back to that screen later. When the deployment is completed, you need to create additional resource which will be used for the connection for the VPN. So you need to go back to the main screen and select the local network gateways to create additional resource. Click Create Local Network Gateway. Select a proper region, West Europe. Select a resource group. Provide a proper name. And provide a, your public IP address. You need to also define the address spaces which are used on your home network. So provide a proper value and click the advanced button. Here you leaving the default settings, review and create and click the create button. When the deployment is completed, you need to configure additional settings. So go back, select Virtual Network Gateway, select the uh, gateway which you created earlier, go to the Connection tab and cl click the 
add button. Here you need to provide a name and select the site to site IPsec profile. Provide a proper name. Select a local network gateway. And set the PSKK. As you see on my example is very easy. Select the protocol EQ4 version 2 and click create. Now you need to go back to the PFSense. And first thing what you need to configure is the tunnel. You are clicking the P1 button, providing the description for your tunnel. I'm using the Azure Home Lab and you need to provide the remote gateway. You will take it from the Microsoft Azure IP address for VPN, that is name of my resource. I'm copying it, pasting to the remote gateway on the PFSense. The next thing what you need to do is fill the pre-shared key. On my example is very easy. When you fill that, you need to change the encryption algorithm to the from the DH group to the 2 and save the settings. When you save the settings, you need to add the phase 2 entry and clicking add P2, you need to provide a name for the P phase 2. And you need to type the remote network. This remote network is addressed from my VNet in the Azure, it will be devices. Next thing, you need to change the encryption method for the AAS. You're changing to 250 bits, clicking save, apply changes, and wait for the reload. After that, you're going to the status, IPsec, clicking connect P1 and P2s and wait for the connection. When the connection will be established, you can wait a couple of minutes and go back to the Azure, clicking the refresh on your connection and the status should be connected. What is important on my case, I needed to two time disconnect from the VPN and connect it again, so be patient. After that, we are checking the connection between machine on the Azure AD and the local machine and you see the connection is not proper because my machine is responding to the ping from the local network and next thing what we want to do is check the connection from the local machine to the Azure AD so I will be checking that I'm getting the IP address 10.0.2.4 trying to ping that machine and machine is not responding so what's happening we need to open the firewall on the remote machine on the ma remote on the azure ad machine and create a connection for the side to side vpn connection windows defender firewall with advanced security and we are creating the new rule we will select the custom role this rule will be applied to the all programs, not related to the any program, not related to any of protocol. And we need to select the which remote address does this rule apply to. We are providing our internal network connection with the mask. Clicking OK, click Next. Allow the connection on the three type of networks and providing the name. When the firewall role will be created, we are back to the on-prem machine and start pinging. And surprise, the machine was started responding to our ping. Next thing what we need to want to test is if file share it will be working properly. So we will create a file share on the Azure Virtual Machine on the D storage. Manage the properties for the sharing. And go back to our on-prem machine, trying to 
open it with the IP address instead of the DNS name. And we have the network credential window. Logging it. And trying to create a new file. The file was created properly, going back to the AID machine. And file is visible. So it's working properly. But what is interesting, there was an issue after creating the site to site connection on my on prem machine that those machines that don't have internet. So I go back to the PFSense, go to the system routing gateways and check if the default gateway was set up. It is. After that, I go to the firewall NAT outbound tab and I selected the hybrid outbound NAT. Click save. Go back to the local machine. And after, before I clicked apply changes and the status for the connection was changed to the connected. And let's check if my block is working. Yes, it is working properly. So the connection was back properly. And for that movie it will be everything because we properly configured the side-to-side -side connection between the Azure data center and your home lab. So on the next movie we will configure the hybrid Azure Active Directory join for our Windows 365 machines. I recorded that, that movie because it's the one of the prerequisite what you need to fill to have a connection for the hybrid Azure Active Directory on your Windows 365 machines. If you have any question, do not hesitate and ping me on the comments or send the email. Thank you for watching and see you on the next movie. Bye.